In today's video, we're gonna break down the differences between two absolutely incredible breeds that I adore, the Connie Corso and the German Shepherd. Welcome back to the Femre Connie Corso Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible Connie Corso and then how to help you become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Connie Corsos. So if you're a lifelong lover of Corsos, just like we are here at Fenre, start this incredible journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future Corso video. And today we're going to take a look into what really separates the Connie Corso from another world-class guardian breed, the German Shepherd. In this video I'll highlight some of the major similarities and differences of these highly capable breeds and let's jump straight into it and we'll start as we always do by comparing the history of the Connie Corso and the German Shepherd. And we begin with that fascinating history of the Connie Corso, an amazing Italian Mastiff descended from the legendary ancient Greek Molossus Hounds. These massive guardians caught the intention of Roman soldiers occupying Greece in the time after the Macedonian Wars. And when these soldiers returned to Rome, they took some of the fearsome Molossus Hounds with them. Soon, the ancestors of today's Connie Corsos proved themselves as fearless battle dogs of the ancient Roman army. And after the fall of the Roman Empire, the Connie Corso took over duties as property and livestock guardians as well as for personal protection dogs for its owners and their families. Now the Mastiff's natural strength and agility also made it an excellent hunting companion for the pursuit of things like wild boar and other large game. As well Corsos proved themselves as invaluable cattle driving dogs. And now then, let's have a more detailed look at the German Shepherd's history to be able to be able to compare. Now, obviously, these dogs are not of the Mastiff type and have a very different genetic makeup. However, they do share one historical similarity. Both were utilised as herding dogs and livestock guardians. Even though the German Shepherd's name does let you know, they indicate that it was working with sheep rather than cattle. Now, few people know that the German Shepherd was not only tasked with herding flocks of sheep, but also with protecting them. However, this breed is much, much younger than the ancient Connie Corso and was developed only really in the late 19th century by the renowned dog breeder, Max von Stefnitz. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video guys, I just wanted to let you know if you haven't done it already, over on our website FenrirK9Leaders.com we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly and then at the end it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching eager to create the most enduring sheep herding dog possible this man started his project off with a medium-sized dog of wolf-like appearance a supple yet powerful dog built for endurance this was the dog that is the famous grandfather of all modern german shepherds that we know and love today soon it became clear that the new breed created by max von stefnitz could do much more than just herd sheep and today germany's most popular dog is used in many different fields including police service search and rescue canine sports and last but not least still sheep herding Right then, so let's dive into the difference in looks, and it might appear obvious, but let's break it down a little bit more. Both breeds are large and beautiful dogs in appearance. Well-muscled, strong, and yet athletic, their physiques hold the promise of great strength and endurance. However, the Corso is much larger and heavier than the more slender and elegant German Shepherd. Equipped with the massive, blocky head typical for Mastiff-type breeds, the imposing Connie Corso is muscle-packed from head all the way to tail, but comes with a longer muzzle than most other Mastiffs. Traditionally, the Corso has cropped ears and docked tails. However, that practice of cropping and docking has become illegal in many countries, such as here in the UK, Germany, and Austria. 
Now, the German Shepherd has a very balanced body structure that is designed more for endurance than simply explosive strength. These dogs are slightly elongated with a downward sloping backline, and all in all, the German Shepherd is built for trotting efficiently over long periods of time, whereas the Connie Corso, due to its origin as fighting dogs and catch dogs, is designed for more vigorous, explosive action. Fully matured Connie Corso males can reach heights to an impressive 70 centimetres at the withers, which amounts to almost 28 inches, and they can weigh easily a good 68 kilos, which is an incredible 150 pounds. As with any breeds, the females are slightly smaller and lighter. German Shepherds only reach a height of 60 centimetres or around 23 inches for adult males, with a weight of between 30 and 40 kilos, which is kind of 66 to 88 pounds. Again, females being a little bit smaller. The Connie Corso has a short and tight-fitting coat that can come in black, fawn, red, grey or brindle, with or without white markings. Now, for German Shepherds, breed standards allows for these following colours, which is black and tan, red and black, black, sable, grey or black, or black and silver. Now, their rich double coats can also either be long or short-coated varieties. Now then, let's look into the intelligence and trainability of these striking guardian breeds, and we can safely say that both the Connie Corso and the German Shepherd come with high levels of intelligence. However, the Connie Corso's intelligence is combined with a tendency to think and act a little bit more independently. Now let me explain what we mean by that in the kind of canine behaviourist world. When given the opportunity, the Italian Mastiff will make its own decisions, which is not necessarily a good thing because such decisions can include destructive or even dangerous actions like digging up your garden or attacking another dog or person on the street and that is exactly why the Corso absolutely needs the strong leadership of an experienced firm and very patient owner. With such leadership and good socialisation, the Connie Corso can reach high levels of obedience, which is why more and more Corsos utilised as personal protection dogs, search and rescue dogs and even now canine police dogs. Now, the German Shepherd is no less intelligent, but far more trainable, and can look back on a long history as member of military and police forces all over the world. In fact, in its native Germany, this dog was amongst the first breeds to be formally accepted into the police force. The German Shepherd is an extremely versatile, quick learning and capable working dog and guard dog who excels in many kinds of dog sports like IPO and French Ring. Their high levels of trainability and intelligence make German Shepherds a superb choice for experienced owners, especially for those enthusiasts in dog training or obedience. And this then brings us to the temperaments of these amazing working breeds. And thanks to their history as bullfighters, boar hunters and Roman war dogs, Connie Corsos make excellent natural guards and personal protection dogs. Now by natural, I mean that they do not require any training to defend their owners and their homes as their protective instincts will kick in should they ever be needed. Now the German Shepherd is no less efficient and reliable as a natural guardian. Just like the Corso, this strong dog can and will attack in case of a home intrusion or a, an assault on your person. However, without proper socialisations, both breeds can get very aggressive towards strangers. If reared in isolation, the Connie Corso can misinterpret situations and react aggressively, for example to your children's playmates coming over and roughhousing together with your kids. Therefore, an unsocialised Connie Corso really is an accident waiting to happen, and it's why we preach such high levels of socialisation, even if you do want your dog to be a working guard dog. Now, whilst German Shepherds, of course, also should be socialised, many still are raised in relative isolation, serving as far more property guardians. However, as this breed is more trainable, an unsocialised German Shepherd in the care of an experienced handler will usually not contribute to many negative statistics. Both breeds are wary of strangers once they reach about one year of age, the Corso far more so than the German Shepherd in my experience. However, when it comes to both breeds' display of affection for their owners, the Connie Corso is king. This dog is famous for forming especially strong emotional bonds with their loved ones, and they lavish their families with affection. Corsos adore children of all ages, which makes them amazing house dogs and brilliant family companions. 
And whilst no less loyal and devoted to their favourite humans, German Shepherds are less given to displays of affection like snuggling up to their owners or cuddling with them. Due to their keen prey drive and generally quite intense temperament, German Shepherds are not always the best house dog and family dogs. That said, again, with the proper leadership, they can be trained to fit that role. They are just not as naturally given to an indoor lifestyle, but prefer to move around a lot during the day and be active in any way that they can. So then let's break down the exercise and grooming differences of these two incredible breeds. And both these large and active breeds need lots of physical exercise and mental stimulation to stay balanced and content, especially if you keep them in the house for the better part of the day. These are both serious working dogs and can get very destructive when understimulated. They are quite prone to use their pent up energy for excessive barking or for destroying your furniture. Now, another similarity is the strong prey drive of these powerful breeds, which makes them want to chase whichever prey animals that cross their path, be it cats, rabbits, or even things larger like deer. That's why you want to keep your Corso or German Shepherd safely leashed when walking outside, uh, and especially if you're not in a really secure area where you can control the variables, at least until the dog has mastered perfect recall. Normal walks will not satisfy either one of these hardcore athletes, but as they both are very intelligent and adaptable, you can teach them easily to do things like go for runs with you or run next to a bicycle. Alternative ways to exercise these active canines is play. Engaging them with a flirt pole or letting them play with other friendly dogs are excellent ways to satisfy a German Shepherd or Connie Corso. Of course, you still should walk your dog daily and give them the chance to see new places and new people as well as other dogs. So now let's talk about the grooming and the good news is that outside of shedding season in spring and autumn usually the Connie Corso hardly sheds. Grooming them is delightfully easy. Their short and sleek coats require really only the occasional brush. As with various other short coated breeds bathing them is not necessary unless they have gotten themselves really dirty. Because of their sensitive skin however you should always make sure that you use a very mild dog specific shampoo. Now, sadly, German Shepherd owners are not quite so lucky. These beautiful dogs are notorious shedders. And I mean, not only in shedding season, but on a daily basis. You will have to either put up with tons of hair all over your floor or clothes, or you will have to brush your German Shepherd at least once every single day. And of course, the long-haired versions come with the added challenge of their coats getting dirty far easier, so prepare for regular spray downs and giving them a good shower or bath regularly to keep them looking tip-top. So both these breeds are amazing guard dogs to protect your home and your family. On top of that, the Connie Corso is an incredible family dog who adores children. The German Shepherd's temperament makes it especially suitable for people who want a very, very active canine companion, as these dogs were bred for their endurance and agility. Whilst both the German Shepherd and the Connie Corso are not the best dogs for first-time owners, they do thrive in the care of an experienced handler. So I really hope you did enjoy that little breakdown between these two incredible breeds if you did and you found it helpful please hit that thumbs up button it means the world to me when you do and remember if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell we've got multiple connie corso dedicated videos coming to this channel every single week so if you subscribe hit that notification bell you'll never miss a future video because i can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the femria connie corso show